What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles back with another quick tutorial on how to do the infinity roll with the AK-2000. This tip would also work with most other gimbals. You can do this, but it would take fully rotating it. But with the AK-2000, each axis has full 360 degrees of motion. So, that'll, so that allows you to point it straight and get that axis. So the first thing you wanna do is to put it into AF mode. That's all follow mode. So the pan, tilt, and roll will all move with your motions and it allows you, you to use the joystick to control those. So that's three taps on the top left button. We'll put it into A, F mode. And then you point it straight. You wanna hold it kind of like a flashlight. I usually hold it and try to keep my whole forearm along it. That adds just a huge point of contact between you and it, it stabilizes the entire thing all at one time. So you'll mount the camera on here lens straight, pointed straight forward. You'll want the, your lens to be on plane with the whole length of the gimbal. If it's slightly up or down, when you start rotating it, it will rotate in a circle where the whole point of the infinity roll is to rotate around one single object. And so sometimes it takes a couple tries to make sure your lens is perfectly straight on at the object. If it's slightly angled at the object, it'll, you'll notice it'll just roll around the object and you won't get it focused right on the thing. So it takes a couple tries sometimes until you really get it locked on. And I still takes a couple shots sometimes to get it close to correct. Or you can move your arm around to make sure just the center point on your little LCD screen to keep an eye on that and make sure it is pointed directly at the object. So after you line it up straight, the great thing about this gimbal is that it has a joystick that's very easy to use your thumb on. You do have to be careful to make sure you're pointing it directly left or directly right instead of if you bump it slightly up or down, it will take it off this straight plane and it will do a circle. That's not what you want. You want, you have to reset, do the whole thing over again. You wanna put it straight to the left or to the right. It's kind of counterintuitive of how it's spinning. Left seems like it's rotating to the right and right seems like it's rotating to the left. But just so you know what it's doing, it's still rotating, it gives you the great, beautiful shot. And this shot is great for a good like mystical feel, whether it's going down a dark, spooky hall hallway, or like following my, I did a couple shots of following the cat on this, or a good epic product photography. It's a good way of like looking at one object, but making the whole world spin, or spin around that object and just make everything, motion makes things look more epic, more cinematic. <laughs> One feel I was getting when I was doing a hallway, when I was going down a hallway, it kind of felt like almost an inception type where the whole world is spinning when you're doing a indoor shot and you're making everything spin. It looks very inception, not normal, which is a great just tool that the gimbal has. So instead of, you could do this with a regular tripod if you're holding it and then just trying to rotate the entire thing around, it can give you an, an infinity roll but it definitely won't be as easy to get a smooth, clean roll as you can with the AK-2000. So the Infinity Roll was given its namesake by DJI with the DJI Mavic S. So that's where they titled it the Infinity Roll. But this one is not titled Infinity Roll. It can just do a full roll, and that's what everyone's kind of calling that shot now. Another trick to make this nice and smooth is if you do put your camera in like a 120 frames per second, a really slow motion shot, is always gonna be so much smoother. Whether you're using a gimbal or just handheld, handheld will smooth it down, but with a gimbal shooting 120p, that's gonna be amazingly smooth. Just straight butter out of your camera. It doesn't even matter. It can be super smooth. Another trick to this one is to go into your settings and increase the gimbal sensitivity to make it rotate faster. Because it seemed like for me, there were a lot of shots where I wanted to do the infinity roll, but I wanted to get around and do it, um, but it would take way longer than I wanted to do a full 360 around something. 
there's sometimes you want to slow it down. I did a couple where I was following my cat because it was super interesting or doing like a, the cat's asleep, doing like a dream sequence of focusing in on the cat while it's sleeping. I don't know. It could be an interesting going into dream mode or I don't know. I don't know. Creativity is unlimited with this. That's what I love. The versatility of the gimbal. It now gives you an infinity roll along with making any shot so much smoother. There's whether it's a down low shot, very easy to do running shots, infinity roll. There's so many things you can do with this one. Thank you guys for sticking around. Hope you like this one. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks for your infinity roll or how you like to use it. Let me know down in the comments below. My next video is probably going to be a t motion time lapse because that's another tool that the AK 2000 gives you when you have one gimbal, this takes an entire tool out of your bag that you don't need anymore of getting motion through a time lapse. You just set beginning and end point. You can even put some waypoints in between that it will go through over your time lapse. You can set the time of how long you want it to run. You just set it, leave it, it'll run the whole thing. It'll get a super smooth motion time lapse, which just adds an extra dynamic element to something as amazing as a time lapse. Like a great time lapse is amazing, but if you give a little bit of motion to it, and with such a simple tool as this one where you can just set it and leave it and it'll run, it'll do your whole time lapse without you really having to worry about it. It makes that extra element to your time lapses to make them even more cinematic, even better, more interesting for people watching them. So once again, thank you guys for sticking around for this tutorial. As always, like and subscribe down below. Let me know if there's any other questions you have about this gimbal. Goat Toaster out.